Today we are going to make these cute little squares of lemon bars. Join me and see how easy this polymer clay project is. So I've prepared my clay ahead of time. For our crust, I just have Fimo Sahara, and I've rolled this through the second to the thickest setting on my pasta machine, which if you don't have a pasta machine, pull out a couple of craft sticks, they're about the right thickness, lay one, one on each side, and roll it out with something with straight edges. For our filling, I've actually mixed two colors of clay. I have Fimo Translucent Yellow, mixed with Fimo Translucent White. I do that because I want it even more translucent than the translucent yellow is on its own. I've rolled it on my thickest setting on my pasta machine and I've doubled it. I want two thicknesses that thick. And this is, oh, drop my ruler, it's approximately, it's almost a quarter inch thick, not quite, probably three sixteenths of an inch or so. So that'll give you some idea of what you'll need to do if you're cutting it, if you're rolling it out without a pasta roller. Now I've made a lot of clay because I know that I'm going to need it for next week's project too. That's why I've mixed up this much of the yellow translucent and white translucent mix. And female calls their regular translucent white translucent. I don't know why. So I'm cutting these out to be about the same. I've got my, oops, my yellow laying on top of my dough color. You can kind of see here. And I've just laid them on top of each other. Now, I'm going to cut them to be half inch wide strips about and you can fudge a little you know like if you find that well, I can find a little thinner there so that I get three and I want them just over a half inch about five eighths of an inch probably or yeah five eighths of an inch in length And you can make yours a little bigger or a little smaller, depending on how big you want yours to be. Since those look a little too fat, I'm going to narrow, make these a little thinner. It doesn't have to be exact. Just get them all pretty close to the same size. Remember, in real life, lemon bars come in various sizes. Now, to begin the texturing, I have one thing here. This isn't a necessity, but I like to start my texturing with one of these little scrubbing pads. Um, I got these, they call them scrubbing buddies. Three of them for a dollar at the dollar store. These are nice to just kind of tap on there and get just a little bit of texture started. Um, then we need two clean emery boards, one at a time. I'm going to pick up this one of these pieces. I'm going to stick it onto here. And I'm actually going to use the second one to help me hold it. This way, I can get this up exactly where I want it to, want it to be, and I'm not putting fingerprints on the top or the bottom. This is a dental pick. I'm going to try and do this where the camera can see. I'm just going to take only on where the crust color, the Sahara color or tan or whatever you're using clay is. I'm just taking just the tip, barely touching. If I did this on my finger, it would tickle and not hurt. I'm kind of tickling the surface of the clay, just the tan clay below the yellow. And what I'm doing is I'm raising up crumbs. 
this makes it look like a crust. I've done that end. I like to leave them put together. Let's see. I wonder if I can get this down and I'm whoops, too close. I'm hoping that the camera will stay in focus. But this gives us the illusion that this is a piece of crust like would be on the bottom of your lemon bar and not a piece of clay. Turn your piece, and this is going to be a little harder to do in camera range because the uh, emery board is longer so it's going to stick up more. By holding it with this em these two emery boards I'm not messing up the texture. I'm adding a little bit of texture to the bottom. I'm not getting fingerprints on the top where they would show. And in fact, adding just a little bit more texture there. Now, before you put it down, if you want to kind of push down, kind of slide your tool along and I'm not pushing really hard on the emery boards because I don't want to flatten this. It just kind of pulls it down. Then I'll move it from here. I'll move it on to my paper plate that I will be baking on. And if you want to you can kind of make sure you're in camera. Add a few more little wrinkles. Um, and just make the top a little bit craggy, a little bit cracked. And I'm just going to continue the same process with the rest of these. Then I'm going to bake them according to the package directions, which for Fimo I believe is 230 degrees. And since these are about a quarter inch or a little more, they'll take about 15 minutes to bake. When these are baked and cooled, I'll be back. Alright, so these are now baked and cooled. It's important that you have them cool before you do the next step. The next step is pretty easy because as we know, when we eat lemon bars, they usually have a sprinkling of powdered sugar. So what I've got here is just some plain white craft paint and it needs to be white. You're just going to take your finger and kind of pat it off on the tile or whatever you're using and just going to use your finger to barely put some of this on. You don't want very much because you don't want it to be a solid, like there was too much, so to use a clean finger or two. And I can kind of tell because when I've got about the right amount, my finger wants to stick to the tile. When it's coming off easily, I know I've got too much paint. It starts to get tacky and sticky. And between the texture we put on the top and when we before we bake them and our fingerprint as we're tapping this on it makes it look like that cool texture that these have when they after they're baked in real life so there's how you do let's get that all the way to the edge so there are lemon bars for the dolls Excuse me, I hope you enjoyed this project. Be sure and check the blog post. I'll put more details on there. And come back next week so you can find out what this clay is going to become. Be sure and check us on Facebook also. And on Facebook, come over to Facebook, like the page, and show me pictures of what you're making out of these projects. I want to see your results from watching my videos. I'll talk to you later. Bye.